So, full planet, empty plates. It doesn't sound like a world that anyone wants to live in. The question, is there anything we can do to avoid a hungry future? Tim Longhurst is a futurist who ponders the big issues every day. Now, Tim, we've heard about peak oil, peak energy, and now peak food. Are we basically doomed? No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Well, because there's actually plenty of food today. There's actually, we're talking about one and a half times more food on this planet than we, uh, than we need, but what we've got is a distribution problem. Uh, the two big challenges are our wastes here in the West. One third of the planet is uh, overweight or obese, and the other is waste, just chucking food out. So, Tim, let's just talk obesity, a subject close to my own heart. Obesity, <laughs> obesity rates are skyrocketing. Is it potentially advantageous, a food shortage? Could it help our struggling uh, healthcare system as well as all the larger folk? Well, <laughs> unfortunately, Steve, uh, this is a problem. Uh, if we do have food shortages, it's not a problem that's likely to affect the one third of the planet that are overweight or obese. You see, those of us that may have a bit of a weight issue are often incredibly rich or by world standards, for example, most Australians, and we're unlikely to be affected. It's the people who are already malnourished, people who are living on less than $700 a year uh, around the world who are most likely to be able to, uh, who will be feeling the full impact of this. Now, Tim, talking about wasting food, we apparently waste a third of all the food that we make. Do we just need to smarten up our act and stop wasting as much food as we are? Well, it's not just us. For a lot of that food actually uh, isn't the food that we waste in our fridge, although we can sort that out. For example, some of the stats are that for every uh, 100 vegetables that we grow in Australia, somewhere around, around 20 to 30, maybe even 40 of them, are chucked out because they're just not pretty enough. It's like we're running Australia's next top model for our fruit and vegetables. <laughs> Uh, Tim, I say peak food, schmeek food. Can't we start growing crops on Mars? You're a futurist. Put a date on it. Oh, look, Mars is a long way away, and uh, I'm, I'm not going to fall for that one. But what I would say is that there's actually uh, the food miles on uh, food from Mars would be huge. Uh, we need to start growing it local. And a lot of Australians already are. They're planting stuff on their roofs in some cases, or certainly on their windowsills and in the backyard. Thanks so much for your time, Tim. Thanks, guys. <laughs> You know what I'm worried about? What's that? We've hit peak wheat, we've hit peak rice. Yeah. I hope we don't hit peak quinoa. <laughs> <laughs>